Benny Hinn Ministries posted a video on September 23, 2023, entitled Momentous Prophecy Alert. And it was a very popular video. I made a response video just a week ago, which I named Watch a Desperate Benny Hinn Grasping at Prophetic Straws. And he was grasping at prophetic straws. But now after the news has come out the last few days, a much more accurate title would have been Momentous Prophecy Blunder. For the first time, we are going to see these nations come together in peace. Israeli media says more than 700 Israelis were killed in the group's deadliest attack in 50 years of conflict. On both sides of this conflict, ordinary people are paying a terrible price. Or even a better title would be, Benny Hinn gets everything wrong, but still wants your money. Let's take a look at a few clips of what Benny Hinn said was about to happen compared to the horrific news clips of what's actually taking place as of today. I have amazing news for you, but I'm going to wait till you all come on. Prophetic news. This is a prophetic alert that is remarkable. What the Lord is doing is amazing. And I'm so glad you're all coming on stream of rockets. The militant group fired more than 2,000 from Gaza into Israel. This Hamas attack is on a much a greater scale than we've seen before. This morning, Gaza is shrouded in smoke. Israel says it's cutting off the supply of electricity, fuel and goods to the city. The Israeli military says it has also carried out strikes into Lebanon after shots were fired from the north. And I'm here to tell you, peace will come between the Palestinians and the Israelis. How? Only God knows. But it's going to have to happen for you know, a short time, even if not, maybe a little longer. This is unprecedented. This is going to be a global revival because now Israel is making peace with its neighbors. This is just the first 12 hours. We should, we should all understand it. It's our 9-11, and, and from today on, things will never be in Israel as they were. But when the Saudis come in, this will be major because it will end it will bring to an end the Israeli-Arab conflict that's been going on over a hundred years. Think about that. Because we're about to take action everywhere with all our force. Now what's happening in Israel right now has been called the most intense hostility in years, the heaviest offensive since the 2014 Gaza war. And rightly so. You see, it's no longer just Hamas versus Israel. The clashes have taken the form of an ethnic conflict. The fighting has reached the civilians. It also seems to be Jews versus Arabs now. This will be major because it will end, it will bring to an end the Israeli-Arab conflict that's been going on over a hundred years. Think about that. Meanwhile in Iran, pro-Hamas banners have cropped up. There are also billboards with anti-Israel slogans. Videos of celebration in Tehran have also gone viral on the internet. In Lebanon, the Iran-sponsored Hezbollah has pledged support to Palestinians. The group even held a public rally right after the fighting began, with Hezbollah officials vowing to join the fight. This will be major because it will end, it will bring to an end the Israeli-Arab conflict. A military operation now on either side. Code words for all-out war, the number of dead rising throughout the day. Palestinians jubilantly paraded captured Israeli army vehicles. Think about that. That conflict will come to an end because Saudi Arabia is a very powerful Arab nation. The escalating violence will be discussed today at an emergency meeting of the UN Security Council. For the first time, we are going to see these nations come together in peace. Meanwhile, in Israel, people are hiding in bomb shelters. Troops are preparing for an all-out assault as Netanyahu tries to garner international support. In response, Israel has launched a ferocious bombing campaign on Gaza. Entire streets have been reduced to rubble. And eventually it will solve the Palestinian-Israeli problem. It will have to because the Saudis are very influential in the Arab world. Everyone listens to them. Israel's Prime Minister has warned Gazans to prepare for retaliation and says his country is about to embark on a long and difficult war. This is key, that Saudi Arabia is going to make peace with Israel. They're on the verge, on the verge. Bibi announced it yesterday at the United Nations. I almost came off my seat when I heard him say that. Because we're about to take action everywhere with all our force.